Hello there everyone, my name is Ayumu, we're playing some Slay the Spire, let's do some Ironclad. I highly recommend you check out uh, yesterday's uh, The Silent episode, it's very good! <clears throat> I highly recommend it. So let's go with the Ironclad, a more aggressive character I guess I would say. Uh, enemies in the next three combats have one HP. Wow! You know what? Lose 50% of your current HP. Not maximum HP, current HP. And obtain a rare relic? Let's, let's do that. At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Until next turn, prevent Dan. Okay. Alright, so that means I can always keep up to... Well, I mean, I'll always lose 15, but... That's not... Bad? Per se? Ugh. Probably here, here, here. Um, or here. Either way, it's gonna be the same amount of combat. I think I like having the choice here. Because this is three bouts of combat first. And, uh, with our health not being the best, we're not going to want to go through too many turns of combat. Uh, obviously. Um, obvi and, uh, so this game is an early access, so it is always, uh, updating stuff. So there, there will be, you know, balance changes and stuff that happens. Um, I looked through the patch notes. Nothing seemed too big. Uh, I think it was some boss, mostly some boss stuff. Um... If these do 9 damage each, we can do 27 damage. Now, I think I'd rather protect myself a little bit more. We're going to have to use 3 strikes next turn to kill him. Which stinks, but uh, I think it's better that way. Um, we can do 19 damage. Wait, so that'd be 17 damage. Or we can do 18 damage. I'll do 18 damage. Just because I can. So we'll get we'll get some HP back. That's something we definitely gotta worry about. <sighs> Whenever card no, that's crap. I mean, for how I usually play the game, I avoid many exhaust cards. So that's why I say it's crap. It could be very good, depending on it. It's a power, so it's you know, you're getting block. Like it's not every exhausted card this turn in which case i would say that's crap this is very cool but we don't have a lot of energy so let's take good old-fashioned pommel strike you know we could just try and buy something early on too okay i don't know if i i think when we attack it it curls up upon taking it rolls up and gains that i think it also stops its attack no all right, then just to be safe, I don't remember if it, when it rolls up, if it actually does negate. Uh, it does not negate it. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I double-checked that. I genuinely wasn't sure. Okay, so just status effects. So we'll, uh, uh, vulnerable. It doesn't, we're just trying to deal the damage on it. So besides that, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, probably another weekend. Yep, another weekend. No problem. I need three attack cards, uh, or pommel strike in an attack card. But we'll bash him, crash him, rash him, rock him. And we got more HP back. Still haven't lost any. I really like Whirlwind. Spin to win. It's the real strat. I love anything that attacks everything. Ooh, this is tough. I love double hit, because that's 10 damage, or 14, I think is what its upgrade is. I think it gets to a 7. Um, this is very good, because when you upgrade it, it upgrades all cards currently in your hand for the rest of the duel. I don't know why I keep saying duel. I guess it's because they're cards. And spin to win, um, is all enemies. We're gonna go with armament, though, because that's a really good buff card. And we haven't lost any HP, and I don't like that path near as much as this one. Uh, it's the idol. Um, I'll lose the max HP, or do I just want an unplayable injury card? 
I'll lose the max HP. Four HP isn't a huge deal to the Ironclad, because especially because of the healing. Um, like right here, uh, it only uh, no, it upgrade. It'll upgrade anything. So like, if we choose it, we can get eight block. <sighs> this is dumb, but I would do it anyway. So I only have to use one block card, and then we'll uh, we'll take out the small sl uh, slime. I think that's the smart play. But we're going to get some extra gold, so we'll make shops more valuable. And this is still pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we can kill it in one... No, oh, no, no. We'll do this, and then we'll vulnerable him. Or... Okay. I'm going to take the safe route. We're, we're still in the gaining HP phases. Um, so I think it's better to be cautious. <clears throat> I also think this card is better for uh, uh, the silent. Okay, so I think triple strike. He's probably going to feeble me? Feeble or weaken? Pro uh, weaken, right? That's what Lick does? Lick is weaken. Not a big deal. We'll have him dead in no time. Uh, so we'll we're vulnerable and annihilate. And we're getting more HP. Uh, no, I don't. I don't like giving up HP. We have very, we have this to gain HP, but that's not a lot of HP gain. Um, this is great if you have like, uh, shoot, what's it called? Uh, it's like barricade or something. <sighs> Are we going to get a shop ever? Because I can just remove that card. There's no shop. Okay, I don't care. Um, Could be very cool, but we're going to get the, the weaken. Um, shoot, do we want to take on an elite? You know what? We're doing pretty good. Um... So I think we will take on the Elite. So I think an Elite's worth popping that immediately uh, to keep ourselves in the up and up. Um, this is a Gremlin Noob knob, but let's be honest, it's a Gremlin Noob. <laughs> Every time it's hit, it gains strength. Whenever you play a skill, it gains strength. Uh, in that case, I'll take... It's two turns. I'll take the six damage. Because that's two strength. And then later on... I'll worry about it. Like, like... And we have the vulnerable up, so I want to maximize my vulnerability. Or his... <sighs> of course. He's going to get a crap ton of strength. But I've got to do it. Um, cause each time I'm playing one of these, he's getting two strength stronger, but we're down to six damage. Was it worth it? Pfft, I don't know. I mean, he's got that perma strength, so no. Oh my God. Uh, I need to kill him this turn. Okay. 24 damage. Won't kill him. Shit. Well, that's why they're the big bad enemies. Ow! Alright. So, he's he's dead. Very unfortunate we didn't uh, come out a little better. At the start of each combat, gain strength. That's not bad at all. Um, oh! That's cool. I don't like it. I think this card is good. Oh, we're so weak. Do I want a third armament? Or, I'm sorry, a second one. I... God, this is hard, but I've got to take that. Um, I got to try and preserve my HP. Don't on death applies too vulnerable. 
That's not a big deal. Um, I, I've got to go aggressive. Yeah. I don't want to drink my potion, but, you know, being alive is kind of an awesome thing. Uh, I would rather it if death had not claimed my soul. So this will do 25 damage. Uh, defend, I guess. Doesn't... If we're not if we're not pumping up, um, fifteen doesn't really matter. Ooh, plus three strength. That's real bad. Okay, wait a second. I can. Sweet. <laughs> Look at these sweet plays. <laughs> So we're going to take three damage, which is very bad in our current situation. We need feed cards. We need, uh, well, basically anything that'll keep us alive. Um, drop kick. Intimidate. Apply one week to all enemies and exhaust. I like intimidate. Um, because weak means they're going to deal less damage to me. Um... The enemy is vulnerable. Nah, we'll go with Intimidate. I like that it's a zero cost card. Not combat. Shit. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, that's two strength, so it's an extra two damage, making that 12. So we can kill someone. You know what? Will it make a difference? Yeah, okay. We're killing the one in the back. Um, so, we're going to flex those 12 damage. Uh, and then we're going to buff our block card. Myrtleize this one and strong block this one. Um, I thought about trying to be a little cute about how much damage I was dealing to everyone, but I do not have the health for it. Uh, we'll probably have to forego... Deal no damage. Uh, I don't think we can kill one of them. So let's get some block up. Ten, and he's gonna get... So we need to deal 17 damage. He's gone. And we're going to take four. I'm sorry, three, but bounce right off. So, no problem. Bachara. Bachara. I don't know what it's called. So, vulnerable's awesome. Hold on. He has 21 HP. I'm not, I'm not going to try and get cute. Um, the vulnerable, I don't think, actually would have killed it. What's that? Gain two energy? Eh, kind of crap. <sighs> this only gets worse as we go along. Uh, so let's see. More than half my deck is, is uh, other cards. So let's go with... Let's go with Uppercut. Whenever you would receive five or less unblocked attacks, reduce the damage by one. Ah, it's okay. Shit. I, I did not pay attention to that. Mmm. I've got to skip that bonfire, because I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through another enemy with this little health. Uh, let's see. Remove a card from your deck. Transform a card in your deck. Upgrade a card in your deck. Um, as you come to a dead end, you begin to turn around. The walls slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. Three faces materialize from the wall. Speak, forget what you know, and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. Let's just upgrade a card, and we'll upgrade... Probably armaments. So it's all cards in my hand. What's Intimidate? Two... 
I want to reduce the cost of things. Flex would be real good. Um, I think we will do armaments. Because we'll, it basically gets us, like, free upgrades. It's not great. Um... Uh, super early on, or it's not great later on when you've already upgraded a lot of your cards. Uh, before you lies an elaborate shrine of the... Yeah, I, I don't... We're just gonna pray. Um, there are no shops here. At least for me to the boss. Might take double question mark. Because I've got a rest. We do not he uh We do not heal up for the boss, so... I've made some grave errors. Uh, weak is they deal less damage. It's probably worth not uh, afflicting them yet. Um, so we can kill one outright. How much are you going to get? Yeah, we can kill one outright. Uh, and I think that's a... Shit. <sighs> we can still kill one outright. I, I miscalculated there. Um... Alright. Probably a bad play, but I'm going to weaken him just for the sake of weakening him. Um, that's dumb. Don't do it. I should save it because this is going to be a long battle. Um, it's like right here. Upgrade everything. And kind of sucks on a, a single turn basis. But. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I, I would get two and lose six and we lose 15. Not worth it. Um, if I ever do get in trouble, I can always pop this to get some extra turns out. Might very well be worth it. Especially because he's getting stronger and stronger. Uh, we're going to take some damage this turn. Or could we kill him? 11 vulnerable. Uh, okay. So that's... It's it's 50 more... 50... Percent more damage when you're vulnerable. So, let's call that four added on. That's uh, 24, 30. <sighs> Put them vulnerable, and this is gonna. No. Yeah, 18 plus eight. No. I think we'll. I think we'll just block. We'll take four damage, which sucks. Oh, we didn't take five damage, so we actually don't get the reduction. I'm sorry, did, whenever you would receive five or less unblocked attack damage. Oh, okay then. Um, so he's vulnerable. So this is going to do 15? Yeah. And this will do 15. <sighs> HP is real low. That's, that's why it's very risky to uh, make the plays that you do. Gain one vulnerable? No. I don't want vulnerable. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain four block. I like that one. Because then I can focus on attack as well. Oh, what's up, shop man? What you got? Um, whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. That's actually pretty cool. I might want to buy that. A secret weapon. Choose an attack from your draw pile and place it into your hand. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, shockwave. Apply three vulnerable and weak to all enemies. So that's real powerful. Uh, strength affects it infinitely. Or, I'm sorry. A, a three times rate. Whenever you lose HP in combat, gain three block next turn and raise your HP by seven. We can't afford both of these. I would love to, but that's too expensive. Um, I could take this as a chance to just get a free card. You know what? We're going to rest multiple times throughout this, so this will be multiple cards. Let's let's do that, and I am a big fan of Pommel Strike, and I'll buy Shockwave. 
And I'll save the rest of my money. Uh, no. Let's leave. And I'm still not confident about combat. Uh, remove a card from your deck, lose 7 HP, gain... Uh, I want to I can't afford I can't afford that much uh, we heal 24 HPA um, spot weakness actually is like perma strength I think I looked at the card before and I was like this card shit uh, but it, it's it's actually perma strength like, it's not the temporary strength buff. Of course, it's this sucker. Right, he's going to buff himself, so... As much as I'd like to buff a card... Which I actually can do, but I want to save that for a turn when it's going to save my life. Nine more damage and he transforms. I believe when he transforms, he uh, actually breaks. Oh boy, this is the turn we're going to pop that. Okay. Need to deal 18 damage. I've got to pop it. I, I, I can't take 32 damage. And he does shift immediately. We'll pop the defense. It's means nothing now he's gonna get spiky shield yeah sharp hide that sucks but uh aha! spot weakness so we get the perma strength and i think a slow play here because he's weaker in this state um is more advantageous okay so he's gonna deal Bought tons of damage. Uh, let's knock down his damage. I wonder if we play an attack this turn. Nah. We don't have... We don't have extra attacks to play. We could apply vulnerable... No, he already... Well, he already has vulnerable on him. But, uh... I have no blocks regardless, so... We'll block four damage... Yeah. Hate that theirs gives him perma strength. But that's how the game is. I knew that when I attacked, I was going to lose uh, some of my health. Um, he's going to attack so we can spot weakness, become stronger. I don't think we're going to be able to block all this. 13, that's going to deal 12. Well, apparently I don't know how to math. Whirlwind the Striker! We did get big buffs in the strength. Um, so we're not worried about that. He is going to buff himself with a big chunk of defense, I believe, so... Yeah, we'll just apply some weak. And dish out some hurt to him. Charging up. This is where he's going to do big dick damage, I think. Yeah. Ugh. 32. That's so gross. I only have one defense. If I'm going to use it, I should use it on this, I guess. How much damage do I need to deal? One damage and he changes mode. I'm sorry, well, technically 10. But uh, I believe that breaks him. Yeah, it does stop his attack. So that's perfectly fine. Um, and then we'll upgrade everything. Because this is five turns, making it much more valuable. Oh, you don't have a flex too. Too bad we can't use it. <laughs> That's actually one of the things I probably should have looked at my deck, saw what I had, because I could definitely use Flex next turn. But, eh, not too worried about it. 
Um, so we can upgrade everything, which is only going to upgrade two cards. Which is worth it because, uh, well, I'm just trying to gain block. And we'll absorb all the damage. So we're going to go with... Oops. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, No, I don't. I don't want to see what cards there are because I can't play them, and I'm basically throwing away cards. And I need to be very cautious of that. So he's going to deal pretty big damage. Um, we're going to be able to get an attack in anyway. We've got uh, 16 blocked. We'll take three damage because we're going to get uh, 20 damage on the field. And once again. I don't want to see what card it is. He's he's very close to death, so I'm not too worried about it. He did snap out, which sucks. This is when he starts to. Okay, I have nothing. I have this to block, which can upgrade one card. <sighs> I can upgrade the weakness. This is pretty bad. Um. Okay, if I'm gonna do 25% less damage. We basically remove five. But it also makes him vulnerable. And then we buff ourselves. Yeah, I think... Because he's at 20 damage. Now 12 damage. Is it because he's hit with so many vulnerables that he takes... Less... Or, or, um, like, because he's... No, Vulnerable is 50% more damage. It's his attack, which is 25. And that actually saved us, I guess? Cool. Um, we don't need to block this turn, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'd rather upgrade a strike, because the strike will, well, be upgraded. Um, which is always a good thing. Uh, he's going to put up his stupid spiky shield. Whatever. We're holding up pretty well here. Um, I think we'll put up a block. Block. Take one. no damage. Oh, it's going to deal 28 damage. Because I didn't pay attention to the vulnerable. But I feel like I handled that fairly well. Double your strength exhaust. Ooh. That's very good. But feed is better. In my opinion. Because I'm, I'm so worried about my health. Um, and elites now drop two. Don't care. Gain energy at the start of each turn. All enemies start with two strength. Gross as hell. For every five cards in your deck, heal two HP when you enter a campfire. Uh, that's eight. When you enter a campfire, not when you rest. I think Eternal Feather isn't bad. But thank you very much, everyone, for being here. I do sincerely appreciate it. We'll be back in the next episode to continue this run. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Bye-bye.